Hey, what's up guys? Fabian here again. Another YouTube video about cookies. Um, but this one is sort of bittersweet, to be honest. Uh, more more s on the sadder side for me. Um, this is going to be a video about the last of my favorite cookies. I don't know if a lot of people around the world have ever had the chance to film themselves eating their favorite thing for the last time. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to record this so that I could always look back at the last time I ate my favorite cookie. So the last video was about Oreos. This not my favorite cookie. Yeah, if if you're in my family, you know that my favorite cookie um, is from the city I was born in, Bucaramanga, Colombia. And it's a, it's this one right here. It's uh, called Choco Petit from Galletas La Aurora. Uh... Traditional cookies since 1937. So, these are, this was a small factory in Bucaramanga. Um, that I, last I looked on Google, it only had like, I don't know, like 15 employees in the main factory. And there were other stores around the, the city. Um, but yeah, you could only get these in Bucaramanga. So, even though I moved to the U.S., in the early 2000s permanently uh, my family would always bring them to me when whenever there was a trip made now th the the factory made a different styles of cookies um, this it's like a traditional wafer it's not a wafer it's like a hard um, like dough I don't know what you call it it's like a hard cookie like cr it's crunchy when you break it um, but that's the traditional and they would also add like this one Right here, as you can see, it has like uh, like some sort of strawberry uh, filling, and there was also lemon. Um, and but my favorite was this chocolate petite, right? So the chocolate petite, it came in a package like this, and there's four cookies in here, and these are the last, probably the last. I'm almost certain these are the last of its kind because I've had this in my closet. I I would save them. Um, for when I really wanted to like have one, like crave them. Um, and I told you like I moved into to the US so I can't get them that often. I would have to wait for a relative or a family friend that was coming from Bucaramanga to the US and then have them shipped from Florida, from New York, I don't know, anywhere like they would come if they did me the favor, they would ship into my house. Um, but yeah, this is I, I almost guarantee it. Like who else has hoarded a, a package of cookies in their closet for almost two years right so this was this was uh this expired in november of 2021 so it's we're almost at a year over the expiration date which means i had it way before that um so i probably ha I have had this package for quite some time and this is the last one i was hiding it for a special day and i feel like today is the day I'm craving it, and I've been thinking about <laughs> making this video for a while. I've been postponing it. Like I'm like, all right, I'm not feeling it today. It's got to be perfect. I, I don't, I can't like mess it up. Uh, the kids are not home. Anna's on her way home from work um, to pick up the kids. So I'm like, all right, I got some time. Let's do it. Let's just get it over with. It's gonna be a sad day, but you know, whatever. I, I'll record it. Um, just for my entertainment, to be honest. Also, I just uh, want my kids to know what your his, their dad's favorite cookie was, and um, my family will probably get a, a laugh out of this. Um, all right, so what can I tell you about this? Um, I my uncle actually a few months ago, when I was already thinking about making this video, my uncle Diego sent me a WhatsApp video that was awesome. Um, I couldn't believe he the timing of it. Um, because he uh, he knew that I, I was kind of sad that the company closed. Uh, I'll get that into that in a little bit. But, um, yeah, he sent me that video, which tells the history of it. So let's watch that now. Um, let's watch that while I enjoy one of these cookies. But let's let me open it first. Um, yeah, it's probably like the chocolate is probably not the freshest. Um, but I've had them kind of old before, and they don't taste bad. They don't get moldy or anything. 
Um, and to Anna's family who tried these before, that one time in New Hampshire, I'm sorry, there's, there's no more. You'll never have them again. That was the last time, that was the first and last time you ever had them, so, sorry. So basically, yeah, this is the cookie. It's just chocolate. It's like dark chocolate. That's what I like about it. It's like, it's like real dark chocolate. It's got a, it's got a unique taste. I've never tasted anything like it in the U.S. So, um, while I eat this one, we'll, we'll watch this short video. It's in Spanish. It's only a minute. I'll summarize it um, after, but it'll be good for the people that know Spanish that want to know a little bit about the history. So let's just quickly watch this. Cosas que tal vez no sabías de Bucaramanga y las galletas Aurora. Párele bola. Estas galletas son el resultado de la aventura del señor Miguel Ordóñez Cadena, quien en 1933 viajó a Bélgica a aprender a hacer galletas. En ese momento estaban de moda las galletas francesas Petit Beurre. Así se veían. Y así se ven las nuestras. Pues en 1930, Bélgica se independizó y estaba en un auge económico impresionante. En ese momento, Miguel Ordóñez decide traerse una máquina a Bucaramanga y con ella fundar Galletas La Aurora. Miguel Ordóñez era un personaje muy particular. Era antropólogo, arqueólogo. Pasó los últimos 20 años tratando de descifrar las escrituras rongo rongo de la isla de Pascua. Su traducción hoy está en el Museo Británico de Londres y en distintos museos. Es el padre, entre otros, del polémico procurador Alejandro Ordóñez, quien en algún momento declaró que su primer el primer trabajo fue cazar ratones en la fábrica de galletas. Hoy, las galletas La Aurora hacen parte del patrimonio de Bucaramanga. Anyways, alright. So, the story goes that Miguel Ordóñez, um, a Colombian in the year 1930 or so, went to Belgium to learn how to make cookies. Now, this guy was... I, I don't know, some sort of entrepreneur, some sort of archaeologist, anthropologist, um, very smart guy or whatever. And he went to Belgium to try to learn cookies. At the time, in the early 1930s, there was a very popular cookie, a uh, French cookie, uh, in the same sort of style as this uh, La Aurora cookies, which was uh, a French cookie called Petit Bureau, whatever it was on the video. So... Miguel went to Belgium to learn how to make the cookies, bought a used machine and brought it back to Bucaramanga and started his factory. So I guess they started making cookies in 1937. Um, and the video talks about him being like an archaeologist, uh, making some high translations for ancient, ancient scriptures and stuff like that. Um, and his son was like an ambassador of Colombia. Anyway, so he was very well known. And I was looking at to why this place closed down. And sadly, it was due to COVID. Uh, I think COVID hit a lot of my favorite childhood places in Bucaramanga. There was another place that made empanadas that closed. Uh, my sister's favorite bakery also closed. Um, and it didn't help that the COVID situation. Um, and I think that the owner also died in last year. The... the, the, the whoever the CEO was or the founder. I, I, Miguel, was it Miguel? I don't know who, I, I think it was Miguel or his son um, also died. So with COVID and the CEO like dying, I, it was hard, I guess, to keep the company up. And yeah, I when my mom went last time uh, earlier this year, like in March or April, she went to downtown and uh, they told her, I guess she went to the factory and they're like, some lady was like, no, they closed. And they're like, try the downtown uh, store. So my mom went over there and I guess a cab driver or somebody told her that all locations had unfortunately closed. So, yep. These are the last of her of their kind, man. I'm just so sad. I don't know what to say, to be honest. See the... This uh, crunchy cookie with that dark, like, very, like, um, very, like, strong chocolate taste. It's like 
dark, but it's not, but it's not bitter. Yeah. Um. As a kid, I would try to like take the chocolate off, <laughs> but it would just get messy, cause <laughs> yeah, it would just be all over my fingers. Anyways, guys, that's all I want to show you. Just the uh, last of my favorite cookies. And, yeah, I'll be okay. I guess I'll find something else. Probably not the Oreo, though. That's too common. I don't know. There, yeah, let me know. What's your favorite cookie? And if you've ever had this kind of weird experience uh, or chance of trying something out for the last time like you know it's the last one you'll ever eat that's kind of that was kind of like rough to accept when my mom told me there they'll never be anymore i knew that day that i had to hide these in the closet i didn't want anybody to eat them um yeah it's so weird so weird guys anyways all right uh have a good one i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching